Hi, this is just a short video tutorial on the weaving program Fiberworks. Most weavers who use this program will be very familiar with what I'm going to show you. Um, but if you're new to computer software for weaving, you might find this of interest. Fiberworks is available on the internet and was developed by um, two Canadian uh, developers. The first thing I want to show you is about a couple of tools on this toolbar. The most important ones are for developing the threading. So we have the top one here is straight draw. So if you click on that one, that enables you to fill in a threading. So you can just, with the pencil icon, click any square you want to make the threading. Alternatively, and perhaps a little bit more efficiently, because it's a straight draw tool, you can actually draw the square or rectangle, the size of the threading, and that will automatically produce a straight draw threading for you. How about we work on the tie-up now? Um, the tie-up can be used, uh, can be done in exactly the same way, just by individually clicking various squares. Uh, and you can fill the whole lot in in the same meticulous way as you would on paper. However, because we're in a computer program, the beauty of computers is the way to speed up repetitive actions. I'll show you a quick way to make a twirl. So in this one, we'll do uh, just one of these columns in a twirl. So say we go three and then miss three, three again, miss three and three again. Okay, so that's one column done in a tool type threading. Now to make it a bit quicker, we go over here and select the selection tool. This is the blue square over here. So you can click that. Once you've got that in action, you select the whole column. Once that's selected, go up to tie up. And the first option is Twill Repeat. Click that and that will allow you to go step up one at a time, one step at a time. Or you've got another selection here of two step. Click Apply and then instantly you have your tie up. And just click off there to deselect what you've been working with. Now we're going to work up with the threading, uh, with the treadling, sorry. So to think about these menu items, uh, try and think a little bit logically about what you're working on at any one time. That should help you direct you to that menu item that's appropriate. So for the treadling, we're actually working on the weft because that's what we're preparing. So if we go to the weft and we go weave as drawn in, exactly as drawn in, we'll pretty much get the uh, cloth going. And we can zoom out to see that a bit more clearly. Here you go, got the beginning of a cloth design. We'll go back in. Now we need colour. Sometimes you could be happy with blue and white, but um, really perhaps. Um, so to, to put the colour in the weft, we go up to weft and there'll be colours and you just can select any colour and this will colour all of the weft. So we'll select purple because it's the nicest colour on the planet. And to colour the warp, perhaps we, we might want uh, lots of different colours in the warp and make it a bit more interesting. So what we can do is we go back to our draw tool, pick that up and with the pencil we've uh, activated, we can select a colour and then we can just draw it in, in this little gap up here. So it makes it very nice and easy to use. And there it is. So if we zoom out again, we're going to see our first woven picture. Bye.